Hey everybody, this is Corey, and I do understand that your WooCommerce is not sending emails right away after your first installation. It's a very common problem. It happened to me the first time I installed it on my main website, which is hempycbdoil.com, and it just blew my mind, and it took me like an hour or two to get this figured out, and finally I discovered this <clears throat> plugin called Postman SMTP and it solved all my problems so what you want to do is go to plugins add new wait a minute first of all I just did a test sale as you can see right here and uh, here's my email and I set up myself as the customer so the email should come to me saying hey we received your order and we'll be processing it blah 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 never came check my spam it's not there either so we're gonna go in here and fix this so go to plugins, go to add new, <clears throat> go to postman SMTP, install now. The really nice thing about postman SMTP is <clears throat> it logs all of your emails and you can go back and see which emails were sent to anybody which is a really nice feature. So here it is. It's going to say plugin activated, right? Now you need to go to your settings. All right, and then it says start the wizard or show all settings. So I think I'll just go to show all settings. And what we want to do is send this uh, change this to uh, send grid. API and it's going to say create an account at syngrid.com and enter an API key below. <clears throat> Just taking a second here. Okay, so we can try for free. I think you get like a couple hundred a couple hundred emails a week or something like that for free. So if you're just starting out, this should be plenty for most people. Free plan. Yeah, 12,000 emails per month. So this is going to cover most people. Uh, to get you started and then when you ramp up if you want it's like what ten bucks a month so it's not a big deal all right so we just need a username password and email <clears throat> we'll do homemade worldwide Create a password and an email address. Create account. <laughs> All right, now we have to confirm the email address real quick. So we'll go to Gmail. <clears throat> to add an account here because I don't have it in here yet. All right, so we're getting logged into Homemade Worldwide. Says welcome to SendGrid. Okay, and you can see right here from a little bit earlier today, it says new customer order. <clears throat> right there it is. Now it sent me a copy of the order as the website owner, but I also want this to go to the customer, right? So they know that you got their order. All right, so we're going to make that work. 
confirm our email address. All right, now we're in SynGrid. <clears throat> and we gotta get our API key. It's gonna take just a second. I'll do my buddy's name. All right. US. We need all that, but anyways. Oh yeah, it wants all that. So we'll just say developer. No. That and let's see. E-commerce. Save. Save. saving great okay cool so we're in now we can get our API key <clears throat> all right so I believe that's under settings okay I don't remember where it's at so I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to go an API key, <clears throat> and it's just going to load load up that page since I'm already logged in. We're going to create an API key. General. Name of this key. Homemade. Worldwide. Mail send. Full access. Full access. Read. Okay. <laughs> we'll just do read access on that. We don't need all that other stuff, okay? Just hit save. And there's our API key. It says copied. Now we go in here, paste it in, hey guys, come here, save changes. Okay. Go back to show all settings. Go to message. We want the email address to come from this email. This is our name. And then uh, <clears throat> additional email addresses. If you want, a copy of any of the messages to get sent to anyone else just do that right here so if you want to carbon copy anyone else you can do that right here okay and uh, we're not going to do anything right right now with that logging yes advanced okay all right, so we should be good to go. We'll go back to the main menu. And now we're going to do, uh, we'll do a test email. All right, I'm going to put in my own personal email address. Next, it says success and finish. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is log out. Here's my email. Now I did get a receipt earlier. 
Okay, actually it just came in. Because I got Sin Grid set up. Alright. There's my test that I just sent. Yay. Alright. Cool. So now I am going to go to the website homemadeworldwide.com and we're going to place a test order and we're going to watch this uh, email come right through now. So I'm going to add one to cart. I'm going to proceed to checkout. I'm going to click here to log in. With Facebook. Okay. And I'm just going to put in our test code. Or our test card number. Place order. Boom. Order received. All right. Now, with any luck, this email should come right through. There it is. Your homemade worldwide order receipt. It came instantly. And that's when I used Postman SMTP and SynGrid. <clears throat> now, log back in to the admin and I want to show you something really cool alright so it shows my other sale it says postman is configured and has delivered two emails now we're gonna go to the email log right here and then hey there it is it's showing the two orders boom and boom and then there was the test and then if you want to view it you can view it it's gonna be kinda of garbled but it's going to show you who it's from and who it's to and how it was delivered and there's the content of the email address or the email that was sent right there but it's in HTML either way though you can still see that it was sent and it works great I've been using it on my other website I've had zero issues and uh, I highly recommend it because it works it solved all of my email delivery issues so it'll do the same for you just follow these steps just exactly as I showed you and it'll work great alright guys